This is Ruth wearing a ridiculously messy spinning nacho belt. It's super fast, it's full of snacks, and it was invented by 10-year-old Harmony. I'm Ruth, a patent-holding inventor and maker. And I'm Sean, a designer and engineer. And we believe that kids have the best invention ideas. So join us on our mission to build kids' ideas, make mistakes, and show that anyone can be an inventor. Kids invent stuff. This is a tortilla chip, and we've been doing some research. When you add toppings to this, it becomes a nacho. Now, to build Harmony's invention idea, the first thing we need to do is work out how do we make nachos spin? So Harmony's nacho belt has a spinning, or several spinning, bowls of nachos. So we need to work out a way to effectively and automatically spin some nachos <laughs> at some kind of speed while we can still catch them and eat them. This is a turntable bearing and it's often used in restaurants to spin the food on the table. And we're hoping to use this so that we can turn Harmony's nacho belt. And we're thinking we'll probably end up using a motor to make it spin automatically. So it'll turn around, turning the nachos. So we've got this little wheel and it's got some rubber around it. And we're thinking we might use that to rotate the inner part of our bearing. And to do that, we're gonna connect it to one of these two motors. So these motors turn at different speeds and we're gonna test those out now to see which one is gonna be best to spin some nachos. Okay, motor number one, this one turns at 60 RPM. So it rotates 60 times every minute. Boo, boring! Yeah, that's a very sensible speed at which you'd like your nachos Boo, to rotate. Boring. Ruth's not feeling that one. <laughs> motor number two, okay, here we go. Oh. Yay! That's more of a kids invent stuff spinning nacho speed. Yeah. So Harmony's invention have these buckets that hold the nachos. So we've got some lovely silver buckets. Oh, they do have lids, they probably won't have lids, um, that we're gonna use to hold the nachos and the silver look beautiful with our belt. Ruth, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a nacho belt. This is our first little test to see if things are gonna spin without getting stuck. Let's turn it on slowly to start with. Ooh. 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 Oh, it's spinning. Oh, there's the nacho bucket. Hello, nacho bucket. Hello. Mm. Oh, watch your fingers. Let's turn up a little bit. It's spinning! Let's see if we can stop it so you can grab it. Ooh. Perfect. Oh. I think it needs some more buckets because it's a bit, I keep having to weigh it down. More, more buckets and um, some sauce Nachos. dispensers. Next question. How do we make Harmony's nacho belt dispense sauce? Mm, sauce. So there's a few ways that people already dispense sauce. There's the iconic squeezy bottle, although this one does have three nozzles. There's something like this. This is a manual gravy server. You press it and it dispenses. But we've had another idea. So our idea is to use the traditional sauce bottle, or the three dispensary one, and a solenoid valve. So this is like a tap that we can turn on and off when we put some electricity into it. And this thing that we will pressurize with a bicycle pump and fill up with air. And then when we push a switch, we'll open the valve, the air will go into the bottle and it'll force out any sauce we've got in there. So it will dispense all over our nachos. Luna is very excited because we've come out of the workshop with a thing and it's got pipes and she knows, she knows it's likely to dispense something exciting. Test, pressurizing. Oh, look at that go. So Harmony's Nacho Belt needs sauce. So I've made this lovely yellow cheesy sauce. And then this one over here is currently a tomato-y sauce, but 
I thought it'd be really funny if we pranked Ruth by taking some very hot chilies, putting them in the sauce, and just not telling her. So we've made Harmony's Nacho Belt spin, we've made it dispense sauce, and now we need to work out how to control it so we can get the perfect nachos. So to make that happen, we've made this switch panel, which has different buttons that activate the sauce, the spinning. Um, but we've also put a speed controller on there, and that will control the speed at which the motor will spin, meaning we can spin our nachos slowly, or super quickly. I'm wearing Harmony's nacho belt. We've got sauce, we've got nachos. It's nacho time. So we're about to fire up Harmony's nacho belt for the first time. What could possibly go wrong? It's spinning! <laughs> so many nachos everywhere. Ruth, do you think maybe it might be time for you to spend some sauce? It's sauce time! Sauce! I thought it was just salsa. That is so spicy. Is that you? Stop laughing. <laughs> Thank you! Spicy sauce. to try the nachos. Sauce successfully dispensed. Apart from it being very spicy, it's good. Would you like a nacho? I would love a nacho. Just don't mm. stand in this big pile mm. of sauce. <laughs> it's pretty good. good Bro, can you floss with the nacho machine? No. no <laughs> you I can't, can't floss with the nacho machine. No, get in the way of the <laughs> it doesn't like the flossing. Okay, so now it is time for maximum speed, maximum sauce, all the nachos, all the time, everywhere. Let's go! It's mine, my belt. It's not your belt. That's cheese that you've smelt. It's not your belt. Not your It's complete nacho chaos! There are possibly more nachos on the floor than in Ruth's mouth. It's very energetic. <laughs> it's like a, a beautiful work of nacho art, is what that is. <laughs> Harmony, we have absolutely loved bringing to life the nacho belt and eating way too many nachos. Now, if you have an invention idea that we should bring to life on this YouTube channel, then go to the website, which will appear on the screen, submit your invention idea, and who knows, we might build it. And we will see you next time for more Crazy Invention Fun. Bye! Bye! I've got sauce on my hand. So much sauce. Kids invent stuff.